Yo, what's up and welcome to Road to Rank Number 1. Now, I know it's been a minute because Tekken 8 got my soul right now, but we're back on the grind and we're playing Cross Source for the Neo Geo CD. This game has 31 achievements and 193 points to unlock. Based on the last video, we are at rank 1,333 with 31,307 uh, hardcore points unlocked and 4,598 achievements unlocked and 18 master games. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I might say some things about this game that might, you know, make some fans of this game go, what, how you gonna say you like this game, you gonna say all these mean things. Well, just to keep in mind, I was playing this bad boy at 3 o'clock in the morning. But enough talk, let's get into it. Man, I actually do like this game. Uh, I played this game back in the arcade, and I tell you this much, I never beat it then. But I have beaten it now, so that's I'm happy about that. Back in the day, it was just kind of like, oh, this is a cool looking game. You know, it's like Punch Out, but with swords. And um, it, it, beat, it, it taught me that I sucked. You know, it's like, you're not that good at games. <laughs> you're not that guy. So after a while, um, you'll, you'll realize the patterns of this game. You got several stages, and you kind of just go through the motions and things like that now just like uh beat em ups you kind of get the eight you get the special attack with using your attack and a jump and you can throw a special strong attack which you see right there um which is that's your soul flare <laughs> i don't know i don't know what to call it soul bomb but uh you know uh spirit bomb is called a spirit bomb for dragon ball z sake but pretty much you're gonna go through each stage and you're gonna beat up uh beat up every stage until you get to the boss beat the boss stage complete now the cool thing about this game which I really like is that they didn't give you all this nonsense achievement you know beat the game without taking any damage beat the game without using continue because this game will kill you this game will take coins it's going to hit you you know I've never seen anybody personally be perfect at this game but here's the first boss throw a couple uh, spear bombs at it boom he's done we got bird food and pretty much that's all you gotta do is just kind of like get through the stages you have infinite continues and you don't have to worry about all that nonsense but this game may sure they're gonna check you at the door because the later bosses get annoying and some of those later bosses also become regular enemies so we're all here on this side quest achievement right here and you see me I'm just spamming the same abilities because I'm trying to you know blast through this game as fast as possible we get the side quest achievement which is pick a different route so we pick this route and we're gonna get this other achievement right here so once we pick this route we gotta go through this whole long hallway get through all the monsters and you get fireballs which I suggest you save them because I'm playing on hard and beat the game with default weapon don't do that <laughs> don't do that just beat the game with default weapon on normal right this will give you the best suggestion just beat the game default weapon on normal and then just beat the game on hard because I tell you this much now default weapon on hard is the longest most draining thing you'll ever do in your life I was like oh my goodness I'm done so we go through this area we get this next achievement and then you fight the Joker as you can tell he doesn't like to come close so I'm just throwing um, my fireballs out there and get him out of here he's really weak against magic even though he's using magic you think he have a, like a magic immunity but he doesn't so once we beat him with default weapon and beat it on hard we get ready for the next stage now you see all those red dots that's your routing that's how many state how many small stages you gotta pick so I picked uh, go through the front door and you see how he, you hit him sometimes and he'll jump back some bosses some regular enemies they do that and it is very frustrating especially when you like trying to get through it as fast as possible because they keep jumping back you gotta use waste more life now he killed me and I killed that crab back uh, because uh, dungeon crab I think that's an actual food it's called dungeon crab but they're weak against magic not all of them some of them are there's some other crabs in this game that uh, take uh, that takes uh, they can block your magic um, so just like I say kind of go through the same motion get uh, get your life use all your life abilities just to burn them down as fast as you, as you can and then move on now the next room is the first boss that checks you at the front door this boss right here will spam you he will hit you It is dang near impossible to block him the only ability that you can use that hits is the pushback if you do the fast slash he blocks all of it you throw the spirit bomb he blocks it or it will phase through him 
and it's the most annoying thing in the world because you can never actually hit them. And the same thing with this boss right here. So I take I was taking some deaths just so that I can get the fireball. Get the fireball because I'm using default weapon on hard because you can't do any damage. But the fireball does a little bit more damage. And I was like, this is the only way. This is the only way I can do this since I have infinite continues and. I get all my life back and I get all the fireballs. This is just this just roll this dice and see what happens. So we going into the final stage. Here's the final boss. This boy over here karate chopping punching me to death. He's like kick punch. He's all in the mind. He's beating my butt. Um, so I did the kind of the same thing. I, my brain is gone. It's three o'clock in the morning, about four o'clock now, and I'm like, thank goodness this is over. Yes. And then he transformed. I'm like, no. No, <laughs> so, but he doesn't block anything. But at the same time, it's like I was so tired. I was just throwing all the wrong attacks. I, I should I should start throwing spirit bombs, but it didn't matter. We got him. We beat him. And I was like, yes, yes. I, hope, I was like, you better not transform. I legit was like, if he transform into another uh, another creature, I am going to throw this controller against the wall. But he did it. We beat the game on hard. I was like. Finally, let's go. Now that is cross swords for the Neo Geo CD, and we 100% this game. I was super ecstatic. It is an awesome game. Don't let my experience, you know, if you well rested and you love games like this, punch out swords and all that stuff, this game's definitely for you. So, my stats right now I am ranked 948, and the new category is Games Beaten Rank. So on that, I am 663, and since I started this series, I have beaten 101 games, and I have mastered 21 games now. What games, the uh, games that I mastered since then, that was been Dynasty Warriors, uh, Tekken Tag, and now this bad boy right here. No, and Sunset Shooters, there you go. I think that's all the games I've mastered since then. And I know this video is short, and I know that it's probably not the most popular video in the world, but you know what? It is a good game. It is a great achievement. I get to move forward, and I really love making these videos. So thank you for anyone who's still sticking around waiting for the next video. But if you like this video, please hit that like, share, subscribe. I'm going to make sure I get the next video out. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.